Welcome. I'm here at the Real World Film Festival 2016. I'm here with the f original founder of the Real World Film Festival, right. Tanya Williams. That's right. Founder and still president. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Tanya, I want to take you back to when you first founded the Real World Film Festival. Talk about some struggles that you went through, some obstacles too. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking 16 years ago, and I was, I w I've been working in the entertainment industry now for 40 years. And sometimes, you know, a lot of times it's very difficult for people of color to get, not only um, get through the doors in front of the camera, but also behind the camera. And the original concept of Real World was to create more opportunity, to create a platform that encouraged racial diversity in the entertainment industry in front of and behind the camera. And, uh, and we're really proud of the fact that for 15 of the 16 years, we spent a lot of time training people, um, building their confidence, uh, showing their films, uh, telling their stories, but from their perspective. A lot of times, I would say up until even 20 years ago, a lot of times the stories, especially of people of color, they were told by people not of that culture or not of that you know, race. And it's a great perspective, but you don't always get the perspective of the person who's actually lived it and experienced it. That's a different kind of a story. So Real World was born out of that, and I managed to um, invest some money and bring an amazing board of directors together, and I've constantly um, found great talent. And I mean talent of running film festivals, and I've brought on people over the years and uh, to, to help push this agenda forward. Along the years, you know, what, what did you find in regards to, you know, was there any resistance in any way coming from within Toronto? Yeah, I would say there was a lot of resistance because I f I'm always fighting a twofold fight. One fight is I'm a person of color and another fight is I'm a woman. And women starting any kind of businesses know exactly the hurdles you always have to go through. You're always proving yourself in some way and there's always someone trying to overshadow or usurp what you've done and I'm not quite sure what that is. I find a lot of men lack the confidence to have either women be their bosses or have women work for them and understand that they have as much to bring to the table. So there, there were the, the both um, things. Um, funding was very difficult to begin with because a lot of the funding, especially the government funding in Canada, they like to help you when you already have a proven track record. So for the first three years, they were waiting to see our track record. So it was always a scramble the first three years trying to get funding together. Sponsors, you always need to be positioning as much as they want to support your efforts, how does it benefit them? <laughs> you know, so you have to be thinking about those things at the same time. And then finding the right team, finding the right people, it's always difficult. You know, sometimes I say, some people want to work at a film festival or volunteer at a film festival because they think it's the easy credit in the way that you would at, you know, take gym in school. But it's not. It's not about a party and it's not about seeing celebrities and it's not about you know, whatever people think it is. It's pure hard work. It's just like any business. You have to get an audience in here. You have to put a budget together. You have to uh, convince distributors to have these movies screened at your festival. And you, 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 know, you just... It's, it's just like any other business. You have to put a plan together and you have to have it executed. What are some notable names that, that came to the Real World Film Festival over the years? Well, we've been really fortunate. People like Danny Glover has come out and supported the festival. Um, Shabana Azmi, huge Bollywood star, has come out and supported the festival. Uh, you know, the, there's so many names because it's been 16 years of them, um, like X, Director X. When he started coming to the festival, it was Little X. You know, he's probably one of the prominent music video directors. That's another thing I should say, too. One of the th things that we built Real World Platform on when we started was not only screening films that were um, narrative and documentary and short films, but we also s screened music videos. N no film festival had ever done that in Canada before. And that's because a lot of diverse talent was getting their start in the music festival world. I love the fact that this year, um, Gave and his team, Sharin, who's a, a fantastic programming director, brought on gaming and virtual reality, which is like a whole new wave that I don't even really understand of the of movie making um, business. But yes, we've we've been very fortunate. We've had a lot of people come up. Um, Eric LaSalle has been here. Robert Townsend has been here at the festival. Um, Adam Beach, who's a fantastic uh, Canadian but also U.S. actor, you've seen him in a lot of stuff. So yeah, we've, we've had a lot of people come out and support the festival over the years and continue to talk highly about it in uh, the U.S. and across Canada. As a new team, they took over this year and the direction they're going with, what is your thoughts on, on the, the festival happening right, right now? 
I'm really pleased with the way the festival is happening, and you have to understand, let's not not give the board of directors, because with every nonprofit, your board of directors really is the team that drives um, the direction of every organization. What I love about Gabe and Sharin and the rest of the team here as part of their work is to implement a lot of what the board sees as the, the future of real world. And I, I rely on the board of directors, you know, from um, Roman Podeswa, I'm so bad at Podes. <laughs> I say his name wrong all the time, but you know he owns Channel Zero and CHCH and a lot of channels, not only here but around the rest of the world. You have we have Michael Kennedy on the board, um, VP I think of Cineplex Theaters across Canada. We have Naveen Prasad who um, is an entertainment lawyer, but um, I think it's uh, Evol Evolution Revolution, um, a big distribution company in Canada. So we. We l listen to them. Um, they know what's around the corner. They know what's new and how to make this festival stronger. So that's definitely, the, your team is always going to be the staff who are implementing things, your board of director who's shaping the direction. And, um, and I just love that I get to see it and be still a part of it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still involved with the staff. I'm still very much involved with the board of directors. So it's, it's, it's still very much... Um, uh, stuff that I think is really great for this festival. Well, you're holding the magazine right now. Yes, our program guide for this year. It's fantastic. <laughs> and what I want you to share about it's direction that the Real World Film Festival is going to in the future. Yes. You know, what, what is your thoughts? What direction do you want it to go to? You know what? I know sometimes people like to think of it as a brand new direction, but we don't see it as a brand new direction. Here's how we see it. We were focused on hearing diverse voices. It's only now we've brought a more, more relevance to those diverse voices. It's the same diverse voices, but we're bringing more relevance to what are they saying. They're talking about wars and refugees. They're talking about inequality. They're talking about gender issues. They're talking about, so we're just focused more now on the message that these diverse voices have to say, as opposed to just saying, the festival is about diverse voices. Now we're being, we're honing it more. These diverse voices have unique experiences and we're giving them a platform to express it. And to express it with a desire for social change, which is even stronger. So you don't want just a movie out there, you actually want a movie that goes out there and starts people thinking about how can we make these changes, whether it's political changes and advocacy for certain groups, and, and that's the power of film and television is it's taking it to the next level now. It's not just entertainment that you sit back and just let wash over you. You now have a tool that you can use to affect the change, um, to see the world in the way that you really want to see it. Well, thank you so much for your time there, Tanya. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And it's great to see you guys at it. Again, you support us all the time. Thank you.